Hello, my name is Chop the Snake, and welcome to this brief video about foods, buffs, and debuffs. First of all, I'm a Twitch streamer. Don't hesitate to pay me a visit if you like live content. Um, this video goal is to basically inform new player, right? When I was a newbie, and I still am, I kind of neglected the impact of buffs and debuffs. So I was getting my butt kicked, and I wasn't really sure why, beside the fact that I wasn't very good at fighting. Uh, fighting, I felt that something was kind of eluding me and that thing were buffs, right? So if you don't know how that worked, let me show you. First of all, you need to take a look at the top right of your screen. You will see the current buffs and the buffs that are afflicting you or I guess uh, enhancing you. And to see the details of those, you press uh, the inventory button to take a look at the compendium, right? This raven or crow icon, I'm not sure. And here you will see the details. Very, very important, wet. Minus 25% health regen, minus 15% stamina regen. Doesn't seem huge, right? But it will stockpile, it will stockpile, it will stack, sorry, with something like cold, uh, which happened during the night, so it's kind of unavoidable. Minus 50% health regen and minus 25 stamina. So if you combine those two, you, you, you go out, you go fight during the night and you're wet because it's raining, you will have a minus 75% health regen and a minus 40% stamina regen. It's huge. It will make... Uh, it can make the difference between life and death, actually. And more important than that, you should never go out without the rested bonus that you can get by, guess what, resting home in a shelter with a fire uh, and different like decorations that will boost the comfort bonus that you can see at the top right of your screen. The higher it is, the more efficient the rested bonus will be. I do know that it increases the time of the, the buff, but I would like to know if it also increase the efficiency, the percentage, right? You can see that I now have the rested bonus for 15 minutes. If you open the uh, inventory, go to the compendium again, you now see that I have a plus 50% L regen and a plus 100% stamina regen. It's huge. It does compensate for the other buff, uh, the other debuffs that you saw, like the wet and the cold debuff. So never go out without that because the cold debuff will happen at the worst time, right? During the night. And this is during the night that the monsters are more numerous. Therefore, it's way more dangerous. So never go out with the rested bonus, uh, as I mean, as much as possible. And make sure that if you can avoid water, if you can avoid being wet, well, avoid it. However, in some biomes, I don't want to spoil you, but in some biomes, it can be pretty difficult to not get wet, right? So uh, you will need even more the rest and bonus to compensate that. Beside that, I want to talk to you about food. You can see that I currently have 79 HP and I have a stamina of, uh, of 133. Basically, you have 25 HP without food and you have um, 50 stamina without food. That means death, right? If you go adventure without food, that means death. So you have to eat systematically before you adventure, correct? It can be berries, it can be uh, anything when you cannot cook, when you don't have anything to cook. Like, just make sure that you eat anything that you can. Honey is very good for stamina, for example. So that brings me to the to the second point about food. Some foods are better for health, some, some foods are better for stamina, and some foods are, like, balanced. They're neutral. They will give you as much uh, stamina as they give you health. And you can see the color of the fork, right? Yellow means stam, and red means health. So... In that case, for example, the Queen's Jam, which I cooked with blueberries and um, I think it's blueberries, honey, and red berries. I'm not sure. Let me let me take a look just just to be sure. I have to uh, have to know. I think it's uh, um, Queen Jam. Okay, red berry and blueberry. So we don't have any uh, any honey there. Never mind. So you can see that it gives us a nice 14 uh, health, which I say nice, but it's not like terribly high, right? The stamina, however, 40 for 20 minutes with a 2 HP thick regeneration. That is pretty good. This is clearly a stamina food. And here, uh, dear me, which is pretty easy to obtain, will give you 35 health and 12 stamina. So some food lasts longer. Some food will give you more stats. Um, it's very important to eat, like I said. And one important thing to know is that when the countdown at the bottom left of your screen will go down, the food will become less and less efficient. So you won't get the full buff of the food all countdown long, right? It will eventually get worse and worse and worse. So you can consider eating in dangerous situation before it's 
empty because remember I told you I had 79 HP now I have 76 in the last like minute or two so if I eat again you can see now that it went back to uh, a bit higher than 81 I'm not full HP yet so here it is guys as simple as that thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy don't hesitate to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also uh, the best would be for you to stop by on my live channel on twitch to say hello that would make my day thank you very much have a nice day bye bye